shot around the earth and hit the earth. Oh, Christ almighty man, cheers for that. Make the moon slingshot around the earth and hit Jupiter and hit the earth. How exactly do you expect me to do that? Have you seen the complex model here? I don't think it's got that kind of level. Something serious. We can make the moon just hit the earth if you want. Right. It won't be very exciting, I'm sure. Um, it would help if I actually centred on it, wouldn't it? So there's the moon. So let's fire a new old moon in there. I'm sure it is possible. And I am an amateur, I will install it today. Now, doesn't it? 
curly curly cat. destroyed every other planet it kind of appears that they're all on their way well kind of simply out of the solar system yeah where are you going you're you're freaking yeah it, it, i think we've lost everything
That'll work. That'll work. So, orbit. What does the iron ring mean? Oh. Well, that might have worked better. This is better, eh? So, mission create a orbiting star without killing planets. Being that I killed, I appear to have killed Mars in the last one. We'll see what happens. Right, we've got a little bit of uh, motion there, obviously, as you can see. But nothing terrible. We've got a, a sun is rotating, and by that star, where are you going? Come on, Mercury. Uh oh. Okay. Let's let's hope that these orbits. So Earth is possibly getting hot again. Yep. Well, it's quite a balmy temperature at the moment. Lovely and warm. So what looks like we need to do with science is create Barnard Star. And then we'll have a lovely balmy climate. Everyone else is quite happy. Mars is still cold. Venus is still probably horrifying. Yep. Yep it is. Mercury. Yep. It's quite cutting how the uh, uh, closer orbits get to each other now. Curious. Wow. Okay. I think it's getting a bit too hot. Let's speed up a bit. Does it keep getting hotter as we cycle? Or do we get stable here? 28, 29. Yeah, look at that. We get hotter and hotter and hotter. Why is that? I forgot to run away. A heating process got on. I don't know, but it is getting rather warm. I don't know why it keeps heating. Is it Barnard Star itself? I mean, how much heat does it give out? Mars getting warmer. Not really. It's just poor old Earth. Baking. And what is Barnard's star anyway? What procession? It is... Oh, I suppose it's another 3000 Kelvin. So I suppose it could be a bit hot. I don't think we'll be living on Earth anymore though. I just, I don't know, I have that feeling. Let's speed up a bit more. Maybe. Have we got runaway heating? Oh no, look, it's cooling, it's cooling. We're cooling, we seem to be stabilised. We appear to have a stable, look how close they get to each other, that'd be well brilliant to get really good views of Venus. However, it's not really that comfortable, is it? What does it look like, the, our, our usually blue planet? Uh, we have no ice caps left. We still have water, at least. But I'm not entirely sure anywhere to want to live in 36 feet and I'm, Although I, I don't know where. That must be an average. So what you might find is everyone's living in uh, Scotland now. 
Scotland must be lovely and warm. Alright, we now seem to be levelling out. There we go, 30 odd. All we have to do is live in ice houses until it gets kind of cool again. So there we go. A stable binary star system with Earth just about... again. Summer, the Greenland appears to have snow. Look, snow. So really, I have to say, I think Scotland's going to be a lovely tropical paradise now. 